Tonight, Ben Fire sounds the alarm as unattended campfires continue to rise from the homeless. Isabel Warren hit the streets of Ben, seeing how folks find a balance of staying safe while keeping warm. We all would have been dead. And there was matches in the back. And the heat was so hot that Terry had to literally kick the back doors. A homeless woman is recounting the moment she almost lost her life trying to stay warm, a common problem for so many living on the streets. Ended up flying Mr. Azer to Portland Burn Center. As he was on his way to Portland Burn Center, they called me. There's pictures, bad, bad pictures. Elizabeth Carlin is hoping her story will be a warning to others on the dangers of keeping warm. When that sun goes down, it is cold, and in the morning, it is cold. Something Deputy Fire Marshal Dan Derlacki reiterates. We also had two campfires that were found abandoned and extinguished by our fire crews in the last 24 hours. All three of those had potential of, of being catastrophic. Luckily, those campfires were, were kept small and put out with one engine. Embers from campfires, high winds, and dry grass are a recipe for disaster. More than 70% of Oregon's wildfires this year are human-caused. It takes minutes, maybe up to 10 minutes for us to get there. Fire's going to double in size every 30 seconds or so. Just this week, fire officials responded to multiple unattended campfires near Juniper Ridge. And last week, a homeless Lapine man was arrested for leaving a burn pit unattended. Elizabeth says her and her partner have steps in place every day to not be part of the problem. After I sweep it I, and get the pine needles and pine cones and anything like that, he will actually dig a hole and then he'll build it up. Durlacki says they work with outreach programs and county sheriffs to educate homeless on defensible spaces and fire risk. Those outreach groups are going out and working with those in camps, working on preventing fires. We've seen, actually seen some of our fires go down because those outreach groups are taking the information we're providing them. And if we can eliminate some of them, that's just less fires we have to deal with. Jerlacki says they have a partnership with BLM, Forest Service, and the Oregon Department of Forestry to aid in firefights on government land, which is where the biggest encampments here in Bend are, China Hat, of course, and Juniper Ridge. Are there rules about fires on these camps? Yeah, so campfires are banned across Deschutes County, and they do have sheriffs going out there to, you know, make sure that they know about the wildfire risks. Great. Isabella Warren, thank you.